So the third slingshot that I would like to present to you today is a slingshot that I made to be lightweight but also very solid and small for a pocket. The problem is that wooden slingshots are very lightweight but you have to make them fairly thick so they're solid enough. And then of course you can make one out of steel which is my preferred material normally but a steel slingshot is very heavy. So I came up with the idea to make this. This is the slingshot it's made out of carbon fiber compound material. It's a Formula One stuff. It's very lightweight and as you see, really thin. Very, very thin material. But it's, it's unbreakable. You can really not break it. It, it doesn't wield. So, uh, I attached very strong bands. Those are really wide, zero band black, folded many times about as strong as can be. Um, the slingshot had to be shaped in an ergo way because otherwise it's too thin to be held in the hammer grip style. It's just it's not comfortable. But if you hold it between thumb and, and, and index finger then you see how stable it is. That it always swings back to the shooting position. So you don't have to hold it like this. You just have to put your fingers on the front of it when you shoot. Let's shoot. Take a 15 mm steel ball. And this is of course so thin that it fits in any pocket. You can't even notice it. It's also not detectable by metal detectors. Some schools have obviously uh, installed them. So uh, if you are a naughty schoolboy, that's the way to go. It's an expensive material though. It's uh, fairly expensive. It costs about 80 euros uh, for uh, a board that I can make three slingshots like this out of it. Okay, so a lot of people ask me what I use as a target. Well, I use this poor tree. And as you can see, there are lots and lots and lots of balls already embedded in the bark. It's a lead one here and steel one here, another lead one here. And lots of additional holes in it already. The tree seemed to be okay with that. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thanks, bye-bye.